Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to get new features from Android in on any device. Now Google just put out a preview build of the upcoming Android in release, and as you would expect, it's packed with new features. But realistically, unless you have a Nexus device, you're probably not going to see any of these features for another year. It sucks, but that's just the state of Android today. On the bright side though, many of the features in Android N are things that you can already get with various apps and mods. Some of these I'm sure you've heard of, and others maybe they're lesser known. But either way, I just wanted to show you that a lot of the new features can be emulated. So if any of the apps or mods in this video pique your interest, just head over to my full tutorial to get download links and more detailed instructions. For starters, Android N has a new accessibility option that lets you increase or decrease the size of on-screen elements. We've been doing this for a while using DPI mods, and I've trumped my phone's interface down with a root app called TextDroider. If you're not rooted though, you can also do this with some ADB commands, which we've covered in detail in the past. Next up, Android N has a revamped settings menu, and one of the bigger changes is that it'll show you suggested settings when there are potential issues you may need to address. Well, you can't exactly add those settings suggestions natively, but Google's Device Assist app can do basically the same exact thing. Except in this case, it shows them as detected issues, but it's the same concept. Basically, if there's anything that's not optimally configured, it'll show up here and let you jump straight to the settings menu to fix it. Beyond that, the notification shade in Android N now has a set of built-in quick settings toggles that you can access without having to swipe down twice. Well, there's not a way to perfectly emulate that interface, but as far as functionality goes, you can get the same feature with an app called Power Toggles. It has an ongoing notification that lets you turn various settings on or off in one tap. So just like Android N, you can toggle settings directly from your notification tray. Then one of the biggest changes in Android N is a new multi-window mode. If you're running Marshmallow like I am, there's a simple build.prop edit that will enable an early version of this same feature. It's not perfect, but it gets the job done. And if you're on an earlier version of Android, you can get the same functionality with an exposed module called X Multi Window. So it's definitely doable. Then one thing I really like from Android N is a feature that lets you double tap the recent apps button to flip back and forth between the two most recently used apps. Well, if you've got the exposed framework installed and you're running an AOSP based ROM, just install Gravity Box, and there's a feature in there that'll let you do the same thing. In fact, I've been using this for a couple years now, and it might seem subtle, but it's a very useful tweak. Beyond that, Android N now has a dark mode feature that turns the bright white backgrounds in system menus into a nice dark gray. Well, if you're using Lollipop or Marshmallow, a simple root app called Layers can let you theme the UI to look just like that. Of course, the dark mode feature in Android N also comes with a blue canceling filter that you can enable, which is a lot like Flux for Windows. But a root app called CF Lumen and a non-root app called Twilight can get you that functionality, so you're covered both ways. Then finally, there's a new data saver toggle in Android N that prevents apps from using mobile data in the background. Well, the vast majority of that functionality has already been a part of Android since Lollipop. It's just not as accessible. So if you want to try that one out, just head to Settings, then Data Usage, and from here, tap the Menu button and choose Restrict Background Data. This will basically give you that same data saver functionality from Android N, though it doesn't let you whitelist any apps, but that's not a deal breaker. But really, I just wanted to show you some of these things in action. For the complete list, as well as download links and instructions for all the apps and mods I used in this video, make sure to check out my full tutorial on Gadget Hacks. As always though, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time folks, but until then, happy gadget hacking.